The media is swarming with people lamenting how Palestinians welcomed Jewish refugees after World War II, only to be stabbed in the back a few years later when the Zionists stole their land. Most famously, Palestinian-American congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, dressed here in blue and white to show her support of Israel, said, There's always kind of a calming feeling when I think of the tragedy of the Holocaust. I bet the Holocaust makes you feel real nice. But it was my ancestors, Palestinians, except the term also described Jews at the time, who lost their land, their livelihood, their human dignity, and their existence, except their population and quality of life increased, in many ways have been wiped out, there are 14 millions of them by now, in the name of trying to create a safe haven for Jews. Clearly, she's not strong on details, but let's examine her main claim, that Muslims welcomed Jews before the establishment of the State of Israel. Mandatory Palestine was founded by the British in 1920. The first attack on Jews took place in 1920. In that decade alone, there were dozens of murderous attacks. Some of the most famous ones include March 1st, 1920, nine Jews murdered in Tel Chai. April 4, 1920, five Jews murdered, over 200 wounded in Jerusalem. May 1st, 1921, 47 Jews murdered, 140 wounded in Jaffa. November 2, 1921, five Jews murdered in Jerusalem. 24 August, 1929, 67 Jews murdered, 58 injured in Hebron. 29 August, 1929, 18 Jews murdered, 80 wounded in Safed. Then came World War II, during which her ancestors were firmly in the Nazi camp. Literally. During the war, there were pogroms all over the Arab world, including the Farhud, a murderous pogrom in Baghdad, in which hundreds of Jews were murdered, over a thousand were raped or mutilated, and 900 homes were looted. This proved to be the first shot in the near-total ethnic cleansing of Jews from the Arab world. So warm, so welcoming, just like Tokyo is warm and welcoming to my cousin Godzilla. But you know what? Maybe the British are to blame for this sudden spike in animosity. After all, they, um, have bad teeth. So let's see how Jews were treated during Islamic rule under the Ottoman Empire. I suggest seeing how they were treated under Palestinian rule, except no such thing ever existed. Under the Ottoman Empire, the practice of throwing stones at Jews as a symbol of Jewish degradation under Muslim rule was widespread. It was basically the national pastime for boys in the region. A 19th century French traveler wrote, I have seen a little fellow of six years old with a troop of fat toddlers of only three and four teaching them to throw stones at a Jew. And one little urchin would, with the greatest coolness, waddle up to the man and literally spit upon his Jewish gabardine. All this the Jew is obliged to submit. It would be more than his life was worth offer to strike a Mohammedan. What a warm welcome! Why would anyone want to ruin this blissful coexistence? But you know what? Perhaps Zionism is to blame. After all, no one likes Jews who protest being spat on and pelted with stones. Spoil sports! The first Zionist Congress took place in 1897. A pogrom against Jews in Safed took place in 1834. How prescient of Tlaib's wise ancestors to strike against Zionism over 60 years before it started. But wait! There was also a pogrom in Safed in 1660 and in 1517. Come to think of it, didn't the first Muslim massacre of Jews took place in 627 when Muhammad massacred the Banu Qurazia in a heroic battle in which two Muslims and 900 Jews were killed? Clearly the numbers of a pitched battle. So maybe Zionism isn't the problem. Maybe Tlaib's ancestors are just murderous bigots. Nah, that's impossible. They were the most peaceful, honest, and loving people on the planet before 1947, when they suddenly became the world's number one exporters of terrorism. Horrifying! However, the lie goes even deeper. Not only the Arabs didn't welcome the Zionists warmly, they didn't welcome them at all. 
In fact, it was the Zionists who welcomed many Arab immigrants into Palestine. What a twist! Yes, you heard me correctly. Not Jews in general, who have been occupying Palestine for over 3,000 years, ever since they stole it from indigenous Palestinian dinosaurs, but specifically the Zionists, who started coming in the late 19th century. And they actually did welcome the Arabs warmly. In fact, they're one of the reasons Palestinian Arabs exist at all. But my battery is dying, and I really need to go to the bathroom. So more on that in our next video. Dinosaur out, yo!